Hello everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the Nerite snail, uh, Neratina natalensis. Uh, this interesting little invertebrate uh, originated in Africa. It's commonly found in countries such as um, uh, uh, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, Mozambique, and South Africa. Currently, it's been widely distributed throughout the, uh, throughout the globe. In fact, it's found on uh, many different Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean coastlines and as we said like typically found within uh, estuary type habitats rocky shore type habitats uh, the the nerite snail actually does well in both marine and freshwater uh, but for reproduction the snail uh, you know needs to it needs to take place in marine water now let's touch upon the behavior community tank suitability for the nerite snail along with its size and coloration and so forth. The nerite snail is very, very beautifully colored, small invertebrate. It gets to about half to one inch in length. Uh, the coloration is a thick black barring that runs from one end of the snail to the other, uh, one end of its shell to the other, over a nice gold to yellow kind of background. The size is somewhere between a half to one inch in length. It's obviously very peaceful. A little snail, you don't want to be keeping it with boisterous types of uh, uh, fish species. Things like loaches or ambuna cichlids are the wrong type of fish to mix with it. They can attack a snail, they can turn it over, for wh which is a problem for this species of snail for uprighting itself. Uh, so you, you want to mix it with really peaceful small fish. It's, it, it is a snail that's kept in both fresh and marine water. Uh, when you keep it in, in planted aquariums, it is very good for controlling algae. Uh, but bear in mind that the pH range is between 7 and 8 for this, for this snail. That is important to protect its long -term, the long-term health of its, of its shell, the condition of its shell. So make sure that uh, you're keeping it on a calcareous base type gravel that's going to buffer the pH and keep conditions a little bit alkaline. They prefer, um, you know, a type of habitat that has a lot of bog wood in it. Uh, you might use plants like um, Java fern, for example, is, is a good species, Bulbetus. Those types of plants will do well. Valisnarius, they'll do well in that kind of an environment. Um, smaller peaceful species are the ones you want to mix with it. Uh, some of the medium-sized tetras, live bears, for example, uh, you know, mid-sized to smaller anabantids, those types of fish that, that can do well between neutral and 7.5. You want to keep those species of fish with it. Another important factor to be aware of with the nerite snail is the fact that it's very good at crawling out of aquariums. So you want to make sure that uh, you maintain a, a, a glass cover on the tank to minimize any possibility of it, of it crawling out. And uh, one last very important point for the species, if you plan on uh, changing, uh, you know, changing environments and going from fresh water to salt water, uh, you're going to want to maintain a brackish, you're going to want to gradually bring up salinity levels and then make sure that you, um, you know, have the snail spend at least a couple days in brackish water on its way to being transferred to a marine environment. Now a little bit about water conditions uh, that are required for the nerite snail. Uh, they do well at a fairly wide temperature range, 70 to 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is typically uh, very well accepted. Uh, you want a more alkaline pH range. I think we had referred to 7 to 8. You want to really go a little bit higher than that. They can go, they can go up to about 8.5 and uh, you know, stay in the alkaline range. A little bit about, above 7 at minimum is really better. Uh, the hardness range should be somewhere between moderately hard to hard water, about 12 degrees uh, hardness is recommended. As far as feeding is concerned, uh, the nerite snail is really a, a strictly a herbivore. Uh, you know, as regular uh, fresh treats that I, we would recommend you give it on a, on a, as we said, pretty regular basis are things like blanched zucchini, spinach, cucumber. Uh, the, the, these snails will relish that type of diet. They really do consume plant matter. Uh, if you're going to be using, uh, you know, aquarium processed uh, dried foods, pellets, sticks, flakes, tablets, make sure that the vegetable content is very high in these, uh, in these, uh, in these types of products. In summary, uh, the nerite snail is really a beautiful a uh, little invertebrate that is a great little feature addition to any planted aquarium, for example, when it comes to freshwater setups. But planted aquariums that are maintained in the right pH range of somewhere between 
7.2 to 8. So that does take some consideration of the species of plants you're going to select. And it is an important fact for maintaining shell health on this invertebrate over the long term. Uh, remember that its tank mates need to be more or less gentle, smaller to mid-sized species. Uh, nothing that has a taste for invertebrates actually or hunting down snails, those are out of the question. Uh, yeah, great addition to, to any aquarium like that, brackish water tanks. Uh, also, uh, neurite snail can be kept in there given that the tank mates are going to be peaceful species as well. So in our opinion, this really colorful little snail is a wonderful addition to those types of setups. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below. Till the next time. Thank you.